Today, I'll be showing you exactly how to start dropshipping with CG dropshipping from absolute scratch. From finding a product, connecting CG dropshipping to your store, importing products, importing reviews, automatic fulfillment, and everything in between. So let's not waste any more time and get right into it. But first things first, you need to create a Shopify store. And if you don't have one, use the first link in my description to get a Shopify trial for only $1 a month for the first three months. Now, once you're in your Shopify account, you're going to go to apps and download the CG dropshipping app. It's completely free. And if you don't have it, you can just just click on this button here on app and sales channel settings and download it from the Shopify app store. I also have an in detailed video on exactly how to open your Shopify store and how to set up the back end, like your shipping, your legal pages, and how to even design your product pages and even your home page as well. So if you're interested in that video, the link will be somewhere on the screen. So make sure you go watch that video after you're done watching this video. Now, once you download the CG dropshipping app to your store, you're going to open the CG dropshipping app and it's going to bring you to the home page, which looks a little something like this. It can be a little bit intimidating especially for beginners but fear not I'm here to help you break it down in extremely simple and easy to follow steps so if you guys haven't noticed the layout of the CJ dropshipping website is actually very similar to the Aliexpress website so up here we're going to have our categories and then we'll have some trending products down here and then so on and so forth so what you can do for product research is come to the categories over here and what you can actually do for example if we go to computer and office you can actually niche down as well so we can go to office electronics and then below that we can choose for example office and school supplies so i like niching down just because it gives you more niche products and not extremely broad products but it's completely up to you so i would just come over here into all of these categories look at all the subcategories and try to niche down and find a unique problem solving product what you can also do is come down to the trending product section over here and this essentially gives you the products that are trending right now on the market but i would kind of take these with a grain of salt because if cj dropshipping is showing you these products they're most likely showing these to everybody else that's using cj dropshipping so these products could be either very well saturated or you're just going to be competing with a ton of other dropshippers as well because like i said cg dropshipping is most likely showing all of these trending products to everybody else as well now because this is not a product research video i'm not going to be spending too much time on product research the purpose of this video is to help you set up cj dropshipping properly to make your life as easy as possible with that being said the first thing you're actually going to want to do is go to authorization and then click on shopify once on this page you're going to want to make sure that this says authorize and that the source status is activated and that you have the inventory sync toppled on and the email permission toggled on as well. This part is really important because this is what essentially allows CJ Dropshipping to import products from CJ Dropshipping to your store and actually allows CJ Dropshipping to import orders from your store back to CJ Dropshipping for automatic fulfillment as well. So if this does not say authorized and this does not say activated, there's actually going to be a button here that says reauthorize. And once you click on that, that's going to take you through the process of reauthorizing your store and that should fix the problem. Now that that's done, we can come back to the CJ Dropshipping homepage and look for our first product to add to our store. Now, again, because this is not a product research video, I'm not going to be spending too much time on this. I'm just going to be choosing any product here just to show you guys an example of how to correctly add products to your store from CJ Dropshipping. So for example, if we wanted to add the silicone grip device product to our store, all we would have to do is actually just click on list. And now once you click on list, it's going to open a window that looks like this. And so we're just going to start from the top and work our way down. So for the store, it's automatically going to highlight your store. And then now from the ship from, this is essentially where you want CJ Dropshipping to ship your product from. Ideally, you would choose the US or China. I mean, it's totally up to you, but if you're selling in the US, you would obviously choose the US. So for now, we'll just keep it as China. Product type, you don't really have to worry about it. Collections, this is if you wanted to add the product to a specific collection on your store. You can click on here, add new, and set up that collection. Vendor, again, this doesn't really matter. We can keep it as is. Now, scrolling down over here, this is where it's going to show you all the different variants of this specific product that you can push to your store and what schools that you can actually select or deselect specific variants that you want or don't want on your store. So for example, if you only wanted to sell the black color and not the white color, then you would just remove the white color or the gray color just so that if you only wanted to, you know, for example, just sell the black color. And so it's really important to actually pay attention to the variance here. For example, here it's going to say black, white. So what this means is that this specific variant is actually going to come with two pieces instead of one. So with that, you're going to want to make sure that your pricing actually reflects this and make sure that you're not setting it as the same price as the, you know, single unit as well. And so with that, you're going to want to make sure that you set your price accordingly to make sure that the pricing reflects the two units instead of the one unit. So as you can see here, they have a ton of variants, black, white, black, black, two pieces, gray. So you'll just kind of want to go over these and make sure you actually understand these so that you can properly label them on your store as well. So now once you figure out the variants that you do want to sell on your store, this is where you'll just select or deselect them according to what you actually want to sell. Over here, RRP simply stands for CJ Dropshipping's recommended retail price. So this is essentially what they recommend you sell your products for. So now this is a good start, but I wouldn't recommend pricing things as 
18, 78, or just random numbers like, you know, 35, 44. I would just do it as like 18, 99 or 34, 99, just to keep it nice and simple. And now over here under CJ price, this is essentially what CJ dropshipping is charging you for the product itself. The shipping fee is $3.56. The service fee is 48 cents and your total dropshipping cost is about $7. And now to set your price, what I recommend doing is setting it to about two and a half to three times your total dropshipping cost. So in this case, our total dropshipping cost is about $7. So if we were to do three times that, it would be about $21. But because anywhere between two and a half to three times is fine, what I'll do is actually just set it to $19.99 just for simplicity's sake. Once that's done, you'll kind of follow the same idea for all of the other variants. And what's cool is that you can actually set the price for all of the variants at one time by just going over here under bulk revise. And so for example, if we wanted to make them all as 1999, we would just change this to 1999, click on okay. And it's gonna make these all 1999. But again, like I said before, you wanna make sure you look at the variants here because these have two pieces in it. So you wanna make sure that you're charging you know, accordingly because as you can see, your total drop shipping cost is $10 here, roughly $10.26 compared to $7 for just the one unit. So what I would do is actually change this to about $29.99 for two. This way people feel like they're getting two for $30 instead of just one for $20. Now, once you have your pricing set up, down over here is where you're going to choose where you're going to ship the majority of your orders to. Now, for most of you, you're most likely going to choose the United States, so you can just keep it as that. But if you're shipping to other countries, then you would just come down over here and choose the countries that you're actually shipping to. And over here on the shipping method, this is essentially where you choose the exact shipping method that you want CJ Dropshipping to use to ship your product. Most of the time, you're just going to choose CJ Packet Ordinary. And as you can see, it's about 7 to 15 days shipping time. So that's totally fine. So what's great is that when you actually select a shipping method, it's actually going to show you the estimated delivery time and also the cost as well. So for example, if we wanted to use DHL, which is obviously going to be a lot more expensive, it's actually going to be $28 to ship, but the shipping time is actually only going to be three to seven days. So in my opinion, $28 is absolutely not worth it for three to seven day shipping time, especially when the CJ Packet Ordinary is already giving us about seven to 15 day shipping time for only $4 instead of $28. But if for any reason you ever have to rush an order, for example, if you know a customer got a damaged one or you have a customer that's upset and they want a replacement as soon as possible, then that's the only time where I would recommend you coming in here and actually choosing a faster shipping method like DHL. And now once you're done with that, all you're going to do is click on list it now and CG Dropshipping will automatically push this product to your Shopify store. Now to check if the product was properly listed on our Shopify store, all you're going to want to do is come back into your Shopify store, click on products and check to make sure that the product was actually added to your store. Now, as we can see here, the product was properly pushed from CJ Dropshipping to our store. And then what you can do is actually just click on it and then you can also come in here and actually edit like the title and you can edit your prices again. You can check the variants, you can check your shipping options, um, the description and all of that. Again, this is not a video where I'm going to be showing you how to properly write your title and your descriptions. However, I do have a one hour long video showing you how to start your dropshipping store from scratch, how to design your product pages, how to design your home pages, how to write your titles, your description and all on the Shopify backend as well. So if you're interested in that, the link will be somewhere around this video and in the description as well. So again, make sure you check that video after you're done watching this video. So now that we confirm that the product is properly listed on our Shopify store, the next thing we're going to want to do is make sure that the connection between our Shopify store and CJ Dropshipping is properly connected. And how you do that is actually by just going right back into your CJ Dropshipping account. You're going to go to products and then under products, you're going to click on connection. And once you're in connection, you're going to want to make sure that your product that is over here is properly connected to the CJ Dropshipping product as well. So you want to make sure that whatever your product is here matches the CJ Dropshipping product here and over here you will see that it's actually properly linked if you click this and disconnect this then this entire thing will actually disappear and that's how you'll know that your product is actually not connected now if for any reason your product is actually not connected what you would do is actually just click on the add automatic connection button over here now as you can see this is a product from my shopify store that is actually not linked to cj dropshipping so if i wanted to link it to cj dropshipping and properly connect it then what i would do is just click on match and then CJ Dropshipping will go through all of their products and see if they can match this product to their product by essentially just looking at the pictures and my title and all of that. But as you can see, my product is not showing up here. And if that's ever the case, then what you could also do is come over here and actually try to find it by just, you know, typing out whatever your product name is. So if we type in electrical grooming comb, 
As you can see, it's actually not here as well. So in that case, what you could do is actually post a sourcing request and essentially just let CG Dropshipping know that you're looking for this product and they will usually have that product listed within 48 hours. And the reason we wanna make sure that this is properly connected because this is essentially what's going to allow CG Dropshipping to import your products from your store and match them to this product correctly. So that's just gonna make your automatic fulfillment process a lot easier and saves you a lot of time and headache as well. So with that being said, once we make sure that this is connected, the next thing we need to make sure that we have properly set up is our automatic fulfillment settings. So having CG Dropshipping fulfill your order is I would say semi-automatic. It's not fully automatic, but it's pretty close. So what you would do is actually come over here under orders, and then you would first have to click on imported orders. So now once you click on imported orders, this is the screen that you're going to be greeted with. And this is where you import your orders from your Shopify store to CG Dropshipping so that CG Dropshipping can fulfill those orders. So I've gone ahead and created a test order in my Shopify store just so I can show you guys exactly how this works. So what you would do is actually just click on the sync store orders button over here. And then what you'll do is just come down and select your store. You'll sync by time. Unfortunately with Shopify, you can only sync by time and not by order number. And for example, if I wanted to do the test order that I did today, I would select today but let's say you had orders for the last three days that you haven't synced, then you would come in here and just play around with the dates to make sure that you're getting all of your orders into CG Dropshipping. Now, once you do that, you're just going to click on sync now. But before I do that, it's important to make sure you read this disclaimer over here, which says orders cannot be synced to CJ Dropshipping unless they are paid, unfulfilled, and placed within 15 days. So it's really important to make sure you're syncing your orders within 15 days so that they can automatically sync. That way CJ Dropshipping is essentially taking care of most of the work for you and you're not going to have to go in and actually, you know, create manual orders. And again, you're going to want to make sure you do this at least daily just so that your customers get their orders as soon as possible. Because if you wait 15 days just to sync the orders to CJ Dropshipping, it's going to take CJ Dropshipping another seven to 15 days to fulfill the orders for you. So then your customers are going to be waiting around 30 days and that's just not acceptable. So make sure you actually sync your orders every single day to make sure that your customers are getting their orders as soon as possible. So once that's done, all we're going to do is just click on sync now. All right, so now as you can see, the order has been successfully synced to CJ Dropshipping. And over here, CJ Dropshipping is going to give you your total cost, so your product cost, your shipping cost, also where it's going to be shipping from and the destination address as well. And what you can do is actually change the shipping service if you wanted to, but we're just going to keep it as is for now. And then what you'll do is just essentially select the orders. And now in this case, there's only one order, but if you had more than one order, you would essentially just select them all by by clicking this button over here. And then what you'll do is just click on add to cart. Once you click on add to cart, you're going to get this little window and we're just going to click on view cart and check out. And then you'll be brought to a similar page that looks like this. And again, you're going to select the orders and click on submit. And now once you click on submit, it's going to bring you to another cart page that looks like this. And from over here, you're going to click on submit again. And this is essentially where you type in your credit card information and pay for the order to have it fulfilled. So again, that's why I say with CD dropshipping, it's semi-automatic fulfillment. It's not completely automatic you still have to sync the orders yourself manually every single day to make sure that your orders are getting fulfilled. But they do do a good job with helping you sync all of your Shopify orders to CG Dropshipping. That way you're just syncing the orders once and paying for the orders just one time. But it is something that you're going to have to be doing daily to make sure that your orders are getting fulfilled on time. Now, with that being said, the next thing I would like to show you guys is how to actually add reviews to your products that you import from CG Dropshipping. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually go back into your Shopify account Click on apps and you're going to want to download the Trust2 product and Alley Reviews app. So again, if you don't have this app, it's very easy to download. Just go to app and sales channel settings and download that app. Now, once you download the app and you're in the dashboard, if you wanted to import reviews for the specific product that you synced from CJ Dropshipping to your store, what you're going to want to do is actually click on this button over here that says import. And then we're going to find our product that we just synced from CJ Dropshipping to our store, which is right over here. And then what we'll do is click on this button here that says import from AliExpress. So now essentially what we'll have to do is actually just go to AliExpress, find a very similar product or ideally the same exact product, and then grab the URL for that product and put it right over here. So just to show you guys exactly how how this works we're just going to go to aliexpress.com and then we're just going to type silicone grip finger and then see if we can find a very similar or the same product so as you can see there's a ton here so this one looks exactly the same i mean these all are exactly the same what i'll do is i'll look for the one that has the most sold just so that we can get the most amount of reviews possible so i think this one has about three thousand so i'll click on this one so then what you'll do is just copy the link and then we'll just come back into our Shopify store 
and then we'll paste it over here. And then down here, you can choose exactly what type of reviews you want to import. So you could do text only, photo only, or both of them. So we'll just leave it as both for now. And then you can choose exactly how many you want to import. I think the default is 30, so that's fine for now. And then what you could do is actually choose the reviewer country. So if you only wanted reviews from people that reviewed from the US, then you would do that. But I'll just leave it as all for now. And then we'll make sure that we actually keep this box unchecked, the published reviews after imported. This is just because we want to make sure that we can go in and actually read the reviews before we publish them to our store. So we'll leave that as unchecked for now and then we'll click on import reviews. Now, as you can see, it was able to import 30 reviews, essentially exactly how much we asked for it to import. And then we'll just click on complete. And then what we'll do is actually click on the reviews tab and this is where it's going to let us actually read the reviews before we publish them. So these are all the reviews that I was able to pull. And if you wanted to publish the reviews, you would just toggle this publish button on. And the reason why I did this is because as you can see, we have other languages here. So if you're selling mainly to the US or mainly to English speaking countries, you're going to want to make sure that you only publish reviews that are in English so that your customers can actually relate and understand what the reviews are saying. And they also have this cool feature over here in the shape of a heart that allows you to essentially feature a review to the top of your review. So let's say we really like this review. This was a great review and we want to make sure that we, you know, stick it to the top of the review. So it's the first one that customer sees. All you would do is just click on the heart over here and that's what what exactly will do. It will essentially just pin it to the top of your review section. So now I'm just going to publish a few of these just to show you guys exactly how it works and how it's going to show up on your product page. So I'm just going to turn on a few of these and then we'll go back into products. We'll find their product. We'll click on this preview on online store. And as you can see, it's showing the four reviews that I just selected to be published to the store. And then if we scroll down, they should be showing up right over here as well. So again, all of these reviews are showing down at the bottom as well. So that's pretty cool. And again, if you want to learn how to design product pages, how to write descriptions, how to write proper titles, then make sure to check out my full step-by-step -step Shopify design video. So that is exactly step-by-step -step how to start dropshipping with CJ Dropshipping. I hope I didn't miss anything, but if I did, leave your comments below and I'll be sure to help out. If you want to learn how to design your entire Shopify store from scratch, then make sure to watch this video here. And please smash the like button if you found this video helpful. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.